Hi, and thank you so much for joining me for this week's Celebrate Wonder Bible lesson. All throughout the month of August, we've been hearing Bible stories about courageous women. So far, we've heard about Rahab, Ruth, and Naomi, three women who have all faced fear and danger with courage. This week, we'll read about another woman named Esther, who is also very courageous. Remember, when we talk about courage, what we mean is choosing to act in faith, even when you are afraid. This week, I'll be reading from the Deep Blue Bible Storybook, and what I'll be reading is a summary of the book of Esther. Esther was very beautiful. She lived with her older cousin, Mordecai. Both Esther and Mordecai were Jews. They loved God and followed God's rules. One day, the king decided he wanted a new queen. Hundreds of beautiful women, including Esther, went to the palace to meet the king. When the king met Esther, he chose her. Esther went to live at the palace, but she didn't tell anyone that she and Mordecai were Jewish. The king had a helper named Haman. Haman didn't like Mordecai and decided that he would get rid of anyone who was Jewish. Haman tricked the king into making a law to kill all the people who were Jewish. The king agreed. Neither Haman nor the king knew that Esther was Jewish. Queen Esther and Mordecai were very upset. You must help our people, Mordecai told Esther. You must talk to the king. But Queen Esther was afraid. No one could see the king without the king saying it was all right for them to come. If Esther went to the king without his approval, she could be in big trouble. If the king held out his scepter to Queen Esther, she was safe. But if he didn't hold out his scepter, she would be killed. Esther was afraid because it was dangerous to approach the king without being called. You must be brave, said Mordecai. I'll need help, said Queen Esther. Have all our people pray that God will help me be brave. Queen Esther went to the king. When the king saw Esther, he held out his scepter. Esther was safe. The king asked her, What is it you want, Queen Esther? Please come to dinner, said Queen Esther, and bring Haman. So the king and Haman went to eat with Queen Esther. At the dinner, Queen Esther was courageous and told the king that she and Mordecai were Jewish. Then she told the king that Haman wanted to kill all of the Jewish people. The king was very angry with Haman. He didn't want Queen Esther killed, and the king didn't want the Jewish people killed either. So the king got rid of Haman instead. The king made a new law that kept Queen Esther, Mordecai, and all of the Jewish people safe. To go along with this week's Bible reading, I have three discussion questions that you can use to talk about the reading with your family. Question one, how did Esther show courage? Question two, what helped Esther have courage? Question three, do you think it's hard to be courageous like Esther? Take some time this week and discuss those questions with your family. You might not be surprised to learn that Esther was called the courageous queen. Because after all, she stood up for herself, for all of her people, and for God. She stayed true and faithful to God and to who she was. So in what ways was Esther so courageous? First of all, she stuck with her faith and she stuck by God. When she learned that there was a law where all the Jewish people would be killed, she could have hidden her true identity. She didn't need to tell anyone she was Jewish, but she was courageous and she went ahead and decided to talk with the king. Now, deciding to talk with the king was another courageous action by Esther. Because remember that nobody could come to the king unless they were called. But Esther went to the king anyway. She knew she could get in big trouble, but she was courageous and went ahead and did it. And then lastly, Esther was courageous because she told the king that she was Jewish. She knew that under that new law, this meant that she could be killed. But Esther was courageous and brave and went ahead and shared her true identity with the king. 
In these ways, Esther was very courageous. By being courageous and faithful to God, Esther saved her own life, Mordecai's life, and the lives of all the Jewish people. Thinking back to the Bible story, did Esther do all of this by herself? She didn't, and I think that's a main lesson of this week's Bible story. Esther was very afraid, and she told Mordecai how afraid she was. She told Mordecai that she needed help to be brave, that she couldn't do it by herself. So Esther needed other people to help her be courageous. Knowing that she had Mordecai behind her helped Esther be courageous. Also, did you notice what Esther did to make sure that she felt courageous? She asked Mordecai to have the people pray for her. So Esther also turned to God when she was very afraid. She wanted the people to ask God to help her be brave because Esther knew that she couldn't do it by herself. This story is a good reminder that it's okay to ask other people when you need help being courageous. Never be too afraid to turn to a family member or a friend and ask for help in being courageous. And remember, you can always ask God for help in being courageous because God is always there for you and God will give you strength. For this week's craft idea, you're going to be making an Esther sign. So get a sheet of paper, any type of paper will do. I found this green sheet at home, so this is what I used. And in the middle, write Esther's name. Now you can write it any way you would like. I wrote it in big block letters, and then in each letter I made a different design, but you can use any colors and write her name in any way that you like. And then I want you to think back to this week's Bible story, the summary of the book of Esther. What words do you think describe Esther? What did we learn about Esther from this week's Bible story? Think about all those different words and then write those words down on the paper. You can also draw pictures of objects that remind you of this week's Bible story. You can draw a picture of Esther and Mordecai. You can draw a picture of a crown because she was a queen. Or you can draw a picture of any object that reminds you of Esther and how courageous she was. So go ahead and write some different words that describe Esther or draw some pictures to help decorate your Esther sign. Now, once you're done writing all the words and drawing pictures, make sure to hang up the sign in a place where you'll see it a lot so it can remind you to be courageous. And this sign can also remind you to turn to God and your family and friends when you need help being courageous. Sometimes we can't do it alone, and so we need to ask other people and God for help. And that's okay. That's what this week's Bible story taught us. So hang the sign up somewhere where you'll see it and be reminded to be courageous. I hope you enjoy this week's craft. Please join me in a word of prayer. This week, we'll be saying the same prayer that we've said for the past two weeks, and we'll continue this prayer all throughout the month of August. Do you remember the words? If not, I'll go through it one time, and then a second time you can say it along with me. So the prayer goes like this. Hope in the Lord. Be strong. Let your heart take courage. Hope in the Lord. Amen. Now join with me as we pray together. Hope in the Lord. Be strong. Let your heart take courage. Hope in the Lord. Amen. Well, friends, thank you so much for joining me for this week's Celebrate Wonder Bible lesson. Don't forget the lessons we've learned this week about being courageous and remembering that it's okay to ask others for help when we need some help being courageous. And don't forget to turn to God when you need help being brave. I hope you have an excellent week, and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye!